here is the simple truth. Whether it's mommy burnout, life burnout, or actual depression, there's an issue out there. The normalization and at times encouragement of self-medication. It's given a new name to what was once called addiction. Have you heard of the hashtag wine mom? It's a culture that's out there online. And first, let me be clear, I am the first to unwind with a glass or two and send my favorite gif of Amy Schumer guzzling from a wine the size of a toddler to friends. But there is also a trend of mommy bloggers reminding women how this may be normalizing alcoholism for some. I mean, the Today Show has wine on the anchor desk at 10 a.m. Babbel actually wrote, wine has practically become the must-have accessory for modern motherhood. Sometimes guilty as charged. And no two people are built the same. An innocent habit for some could be devastating for others. But in the mommy juice, wine o'clock, and the many gifts out there to choose from for the hashtag wine mom, some are admitting what started as a much needed glass of wine became just a splash when the kids got home from school. Another glass while they eat dinner to numb the whining about dinner. Another at bedtime, then bath, then book. Well, maybe one more when they finally get to bed and the house is quiet for the first time since 6 a.m. And then all of a sudden the bottle's long gone. Maybe you've count counted and stopped counting. Um, we know there are many people innocently self-medicating, but others, about 10% of you, are drowning in a real issue of binge drinking and or addiction. And that might not sound a lot, but when it's 10% of all women, that's 16 million people. We're so quick to call someone who has an opioid addiction a pill popper, yet you're a hero at Boozy Brunch. And while some may tout self-care as the solution, meditate, get a massage. I'll be the first to tell you, the buzz from a massage wears off a lot faster. And there is no time to meditate. What we need is a break. What we need is to support each other. Offer help. Ignore hashtag Pinterest mom that makes us all feel like a failure for the bento box lunch we didn't prepare. Take pride in the cereal you served for dinner. They're eating. Ignore Carol from Carpool who gave you the mean girl look for the sweats you're wearing. Why does everyone get dressed up for school drop off anyway? Um, and then remember an often shared mantra. Behind every successful woman is a tribe of other successful women who have her back. Have her back. And that's the simple truth.